Panama is a small Central American country with a lot to offer. From the iconic Panama Canal to the stunning San Blas Islands, here are the amazing places to visit in this diverse and beautiful country. Number 14. El Valle de Anton Welcome to El Valle de Anton, a charming little village nestled in the middle of an ancient volcanic caldera in Panama. This hidden gem is a throwback to old-fashioned Panama where life moves at a slower pace and the preferred mode of transportation is a trusty bicycle. With its stunning nature reserves and lack of modern consumerist culture, El Valle de Anton is a nature lover's paradise. You can spend your days exploring the Orchid Conservatory, Amphibian Rescue Station, and the nearby forests that are teeming with rare bird species. Or take a hike to one of the breathtaking waterfalls that dot the valleys of the region. And if you're feeling adventurous, check out the hot springs and healing mud pools that are a remnant of the area's geothermal activity. But that's not all. El Valle de Anton also has a butterfly house, serpentarium, and even a place to check out some petroglyphs. And, of course, no visit would be complete without a trek to the famous El Choro del Macho waterfall, just a short hike from town. Number 13. Embera Village If you're looking for a unique and immersive cultural experience, a visit to Embera Village in Panama is a must. Located in the heart of the rainforest, this indigenous village is home to the Embera people who have lived in harmony with the natural world for centuries. You'll have the opportunity to learn about their way of life, including their art, music, and traditional medicine. Plus, you get to participate in activities like hiking through the rainforest, swimming in crystal clear rivers, and learning how to make traditional crafts. It's a truly unforgettable adventure that will leave you feeling connected to nature and the local community. Number 12. Pearl Islands Pack your sunscreen and swimsuits because we're heading to the Pearl Islands a tropical paradise located just 40 miles off the coast of Panama. These idyllic islands are home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world with crystal clear waters and pearl white sands. While the majority of the islands are relatively undiscovered, Contadora Island is the most developed, boasting two luxury resorts where you can relax and unwind in style. But the Pearl Islands are more than just a beach destination. These islands have a rich history, having been home to native Indians before being taken over by the Spanish in search of pearls, hence the island's name. These days, pearl mining is no longer the main industry, but you can still find plenty of opportunities to go fishing, whale watching, or even explore an old shipwreck on the island. And if you're not lounging on the beach or snorkeling in the crystal clear waters, you can take a walk through the lush forests or hit the trails on an ATV. Number 11. Boquete Nestled in the Chiriqui province of Panama, Boquete is a small mountain town that is known for its beautiful coffee plantations and pleasant climate. Nicknamed the Land of Eternal Springtime, Boquete has a focus on outdoor activities, making it a great destination for those who love adventure. Visitors to Boquete can go ziplining through the rainforest, whitewater rafting, hiking up the Baru volcano, or searching for exotic birds in the cloud forests. The town is also home to a number of luxury spas and hotels, making it a popular destination for health tourism. In addition to its outdoor activities, Boquete is also known for its coffee, with many coffee plantations located in the area. The town is a great place to relax and escape the heat of the coast, with a variety of restaurants, hotels, and luxury inns to choose from. Number 10. Volcan Baru The Baru volcano is the highest peak in the country at a height of 11,400 feet. It is a popular destination for hikers and adventurers, with several trails leading to the summit. The hike to the top of the volcano is a challenging one, with a steep ascent through the dense forest and across rocky terrain. Along the way, you can enjoy beautiful views of the surrounding landscape and possibly spot some of the region's wildlife such as quetzals, howler monkeys, and sloths. The Baru volcano is also home to a number of hot springs, which are popular with tourists and locals alike. The hot springs are believed to have therapeutic properties and are a great way to relax after a long day of hiking. Number 9. Asuero Peninsula The Asuero Peninsula is a region of Panama that is rich in farming, folklore, and fiestas. The peninsula is bordered by the Gulf of Chiriqui to the west and the Gulf of Panama to the east. It is home to the largest and loudest carnival celebration in the country, which takes place in Las Tablas and is known for its flamboyant costumes, exuberant music, and energetic dancing. The peninsula is also home to a number of well-preserved colonial buildings, including those found in the town of Pedasi. 
In addition to its cultural attractions, the Asuero Peninsula is also known for its beautiful beaches, including Playa Venao, a golden stretch of sand with world-class surf. The region is also home to a number of wildlife preserves, including Isla Iguana and Isla Cañas which are popular destinations for snorkeling and turtle watching. Number 8. Fort San Lorenzo Fort San Lorenzo is a historic fort located in the Colón province of Panama. This military fort was built in the 16th century to protect the country's treasure-filled ships from pirates. Today, the fort stands in ruins, but the stunning views of the Chagres River and the surrounding jungle make it worth a visit. Plus, with a guided tour, you'll learn all about the fort's rich history and role in the famous Panama Canal. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity to step back in time. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 7. Cohiba National Park Are you ready for an undersea adventure? Then you won't want to miss Cohiba National Park on your visit to Panama's Sunset Coast. This national marine park is home to the largest coral reef in the Pacific and is a top destination for scuba diving and snorkeling. With more than 30 dive sites to explore, you can catch glimpses of everything from manta rays and turtles to white tip reef sharks and, if you're lucky, even humpback whales. But Cohiba National Park isn't just about the water. It's also home to a variety of land animals, including jaguars, ocelots, and scarlet macaws. In fact, the park has such impressive biodiversity that it's been dubbed the Galapagos of Panama. And if you want to make the most of your visit to Cohiba National Park, consider staying in Santa Catalina, which is the best place to access the park. This brings us to our next point. Number 6. Santa Catalina Santa Catalina is a charming fishing village located on the Pacific coast of Panama, renowned for its world-class surfing and diving spots. This hidden gem is a surfer's paradise with mighty waves up to 33 feet high and black volcanic sand beaches. If you're not a fan of getting wet, there are plenty of other activities to enjoy, like horseback riding and bird watching through the surrounding countryside. The laid-back atmosphere and friendly locals make Santa Catalina a top tourist destination, and it's also a gateway to the Cohiba National Marine Park. You won't find any major landmarks or shopping malls here, but you will find unspoiled authenticity and a chance to relax and unwind. Number 5. Los Canjilones Los Canjilones is a must-visit destination when in Panama. Located near Boquete, this local swimming hole offers a unique blend of village shopping, canyon views, and cool river water to jump into. The bus ride to get there is cheap and a mini supermarket is just a short walk away to grab any snacks or beach supplies. Spend the day sunbathing, swimming, and sightseeing, and don't forget to pack a big picnic to enjoy the wondrous views. If you're feeling daring, jump off the natural rock formations into the aqua-colored waters, or swim through the crystal-clear canyon that stretches 130 feet long. On hot days, you'll find a lively scene with music, barbecues, and food vendors, as Panamanian families come from far and wide to splash around. Number 4. San Blas Islands Feeling adventurous? Look no further than the San Blas Islands off the Caribbean coast of Panama. This archipelago is home to the Kuna Indians who have inhabited the islands for centuries. To preserve their culture, the government has designated these islands as an autonomous region, leaving the Kuna to their own economic system, language, and customs. You'll feel like you've traveled back in time as you learn about traditional Indian crafts, hear captivating legends, and experience the music and dances of the Kuna. The economy of the islands is based on coconut cultivation and tourism with the most popular islands being Achutupu, Kangantupu, and Coco Blanco. The only way to stay on these islands is to book a package with the Kuna, which includes rustic accommodations and meals. While you're there, take part in activities like sunbathing on the beautiful beaches, swimming, snorkeling, and diving among tropical fish, and hiking through lush vegetation to spot colorful birds and hear the calls of howler monkeys. And don't forget to bring plenty of cash. ATMs aren't a thing here. Number 3. Bocas del Toro Are you ready to escape to one of Panama's most popular destinations? Bocas del Toro is a tropical paradise waiting for you. This collection of islands in the Caribbean Sea boasts crystal clear waters and soft sand beaches that are perfect for surfing, swimming, and diving. The laid-back atmosphere of Bocas del Toro draws in young travelers from all over. You can find luxury resorts with infinity pools or budget-friendly options frequented by singles and couples. The main town, Bocas del Toro, or Bocas Town, is located on Isla Colón, 
and is known for its lively nightlife scene. If you're looking for more serene, peaceful settings, head to one of the other islands like Bluff Beach, Starfish Beach, or Red Frog Beach. The Bocas del Toro Archipelago is home to a variety of wildlife and habitats, including painted rabbits, green iguanas, and howler monkeys. Make sure to explore the islands via water taxi or private boat, and don't forget to try the local cuisine and traditions. Number 2. Casco Viejo Casco Viejo is a historic area in Panama City offering a unique blend of history and modernity. This historic district is home to a variety of colonial-style buildings, some of which have been beautifully restored and now serve as boutique hotels, restaurants, and bars. Stroll through the narrow streets and take in the colorful buildings, historic ruins, and panoramic views of the bay. In the evenings, the area comes to life with outdoor dining and creative lighting of the buildings and ruins. In addition to its rich history and charming atmosphere, Casco Viejo is also known as a foodie destination, with an array of restaurants serving up delicious dishes. Number 1. Panama Canal You can't say you've been to Panama if you didn't see the iconic Panama Canal. It's a must-see destination that has fascinated travelers for decades. Not only is it a feat of engineering, but it's also a crucial part of global trade and commerce. Plus, it's just cool to see all those massive ships passing through such a narrow channel. Whether you're a history buff or just appreciate awesome things, the Panama Canal is a must-visit spot. Click here for more places to visit in Central America.